Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a teacher account. After you log into your account, hover over your account name in the top right corner and select My Profile. On this page, you'll scroll down to the Profile panel and then check the I'm a Teacher checkbox. Click the button Save Changes that pops up and now your account will have the word teacher in parentheses after it. This means that you have successfully set up your account to be a teacher account. If you scroll down, you'll see that a classes panel has now been enabled. This is where you can create new classes, enter a class name such as period one, and then click add class. You've now created a classroom called period one the code is the secret code that you will share with students that you want to be able to join your class. Anybody with a student account will be able to join your class using this code. If you want to generate a new code, hit the reset button, and now you will have a new code that will work and the old code will not work. I recommend leaving auto joined checked. This means that you only need to give out this code and when students enter that code they will automatically be enrolled into the class. You would only want to uncheck this if you're having problems of students that you don't want joining classes starting to join classes. It will give you the ability to deny or confirm a student before they're actually enrolled into the class. I'm going to add a period two class and a period three class. Now, if we scroll up to the top and I'm going to click on the classes tab, this classes page is where you'll have the ability to see all the students that are in your classes, as well as a general overview of their activity on the site. Again, this is the code you'll need to share with your students so that they can join the class. This is also where if you had auto join disabled, you would be able to confirm or deny students entry into the class. All these columns here are sortable, which is nice. The first four are data coming from the student's account. The rest is what they've been doing on the site there, what they've been doing with typing lessons on the typing tests, as well as um, their progress on assignments that you've given them. This student here has completed one of the two assignments, which is why his assignment progress is being shown as 50%. All of these stats can be filtered by time using the time frame filter at the top of the page. Filtering can show you exactly what students did on certain days, which could be really helpful data. For instance, this student has spent three minutes on a typing test over the last seven days. But if we wanna see what he did today, for instance, we can see that he didn't spend any time today. So we can give you a lot of insight into what your students are actually doing on the site based on time. The time frame filter also filters assignments. It filters assignments based on how this filter overlaps the assignment window. The assignment window being starting at when you assign the assignment all the way up until the due date of the assignment. For instance, we have two assignments that the window overlaps the last seven days, but I know there's one assignment here that is due on the 5th. So if I change the filter from the 10th to the 15th, let's say I'm excluding that one assignment now. So now there's only one assignment because there's only one assignment that's due within this range. When your time frame filter is hiding some assignments, you'll get this little icon of a filter next to the assignment progress, letting you know that there are some assignments that aren't being shown here. There are also some useful links here. For instance, if you click on the student's name, it will actually bring you to their typing test stat page, which will show you a lot of information on how they're doing on the typing test, as well as some keys that they might be having issues with. You can then click on the typing lessons and now this will show you their progress on typing lessons. If we change the filter to show all time, now we see that they've actually completed the first lesson here, FJ. If we go back now to the classes page, there's another link 
if you click on their assignment progress, it'll actually bring you to their specific assignments that they've done that you've given them. I will go into more depth on this assignments page in a later video. So this concludes the video on how to set up a teacher account on Speed Typing Online. I hope this video helped. If it helped you, feel free to hit the like button to let me know. Subscribe too if you want to catch future videos like this one. Also, leave a comment with any questions you still might have. I'd love to help answer them for you. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.